St. Martin is a beautiful island in the Caribbean that was colonized by both the French and the Dutch, making it the smallest landmass in the world that is occupied by two countries. Okay, so here I am at the border of the French side and the Dutch side. So right over here is the Dutch side of the island. And then we're standing right on the edge of the border and there's this beautiful monument that has all the flags. And then right over there, there's the French side. The whole island is only 37 square miles. In that square mileage, there are 37 beaches and all of them are public. St. Martin has extremely diverse cuisine and a huge range of levels of restaurant styles. This island is very multi multicultural, so there are many different types of ethnic restaurants, but also many restaurants that offer authentic St. Martin, French, and Dutch cuisine. There are so many fun things to do, unique places to visit, and awesome tours to take. St. Martin's designation as the Friendly Island is very accurate. Everyone you meet is friendly and welcoming. This is Divi Little Bay Beach Resort, which is located in Bel Air on the Dutch side of the island. Divi is right across from where the cruise ships dock in the, in the main capital of Phillipsburg. The main entrance opens up right onto the beach. Over to the right is where the main two restaurants are located, along with the additional rooms and pools just added to the resort. To the left houses Fort Amsterdam Cafe, the resort spa, two more pools, including the infinity pool, more guest rooms, and the pathway to Fort Amsterdam. Resort amenities include a complimentary shuttle that can be called on anytime, Wi-Fi throughout the resort, beach chairs, cabanas, and towels to be used on the beach, laundry and dry cleaning services, and a small gift shop. There is boating or sailing opportunities, scuba diving equipment, snorkeling equipment, kayaks, and paddle boards for rent here as well. There are several dining options for every budget if you are not on the all-inclusive package. This is Gizmo, the resident macaw parrot. She loves to hang out in her bar, Gizmo's Bar and Grill. Pure Ocean is the signature restaurant if you're looking for something more upscale, and Fort Amsterdam Cafe is great for grab-and-go items. In-room amenities included in most rooms are a private balcony or terrace, kitchen or kitchenette, air conditioning, daily maid services, TV with cable, and Wi-Fi. Fort Amsterdam is just a short hike past the resort. It gives beautiful 360-degree views of the island and is a great place to see the national bird of St. Martin, the pelican. Topper's Rum Distillery offers tours of their facilities. You have the option to taste at least 25 different flavors over the course of one hour. There are over 100 flavors to choose from. Along with all the rum shots, you also get to taste the famous rum cake and the handmade gelato. Sour sauce. That is a fruit that's native to the island. It's also grown all over the Caribbean and South America. Looks like the picture here. It's quite large though. They're green on the outside with white mushy meat on the inside. And most people will scoop that meat out and blend it and drink it like a smooth, you know, sour sauce. It's very sweet. It's not sour as the name suggests, but it's also very, very good for you. It's full of antioxidants. So I'm about to give you a healthy drink option, oh, yes. yeah? <laughs> On our way to begin the island street art tour, we stopped at Z-Best for breakfast to get some freshly made French pastries. We visited both sides of the island, viewing both local and international artists' murals. They have taken utility sheds, containers, and walls and made them into works of art. You also get to taste some authentic French and St. Martin cuisine at several different Lolos. This is a great way to see and experience the culture of the island. This tour is beloved by first-timers and long-time St. Martin vacationers alike. This is Flavor Academy, which is a chef's table private restaurant with only one table available that seats no more than 14 people. It features a five-course tasting menu that can be fully customized to you and your group. Our menu featured this delicious crab and mouge bouche, then this beautiful fig salad, next was the lobster bisque, and short ribs as the entree. After that, there's a palate cleanser, and we finished out the night with this amazing white chocolate coconut mousse. The Eco Tour Sail and Snorkel is an all-day catamaran tour that goes around the whole island with several stops, including Tintamar Island for snorkeling with turtles, Creole Rock, and Grand Cass for lunch at one of the Lolos, then Long Bay to sail past the most expensive resort on the island, La Samana. Then they finish off the day at the famous Maho Beach. Part of the tour's cost goes to helping to preserve nature reserves on the island. You can't talk about St. Martin without talking about Maho Beach. This is an amazing place where the beach is located right at the end of an airport runway. Planes land and take off about 50 feet from the water. Hats and shoes and sometimes even people get blown away here as you can see. St. Martin has more return visitors than any other island in the Caribbean. The main reason is the people. The friendliness, compassion, and resilience of the people in St. Martin creates a unique kind of hospitality. This island is a beautiful paradise and its people are a rare treasure that I recommend everyone experience in their lifetime. It is a safe, fun, and affordable place that offers so much from the nightlife to the beaches to the day trips, there's never enough time to fit it all in. The Friendly Island never disappoints. Come for the beauty and excitement, return for the amazing people you'll meet.